What's up, YouTube and all the movie lovers out there? How's everyone doing this past year? Hope everyone had a great holiday, so... I know that those of you who have been following me the last few years, I do movie reviews. But I'm not doing an NFL pick thing until I'm ready, so I'm just deciding a few games. So if you're wondering, that's what I'm going to be doing this week. Well, um, movie review this week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do two of them, like I said last week. And um, I'm going to do... First one, I'm going to do Star Wars um, Rogue One. I saw the movie for that last week. Before I get to that... I take my hat off. I want to send my thoughts and prayers out to um, Carrie Fisher and her mother Debbie Reynolds, who both recently passed the last couple of days, day of, days two apart. First off, with Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds uh, today, and then of course George Michael, who died on Christmas Day. So I wasn't a fan of his music, but you know I wanted to send my thoughts and prayers out to everyone who became a fan of his music. So it's to you. Look, I know it's a little bl blurry, so I want to apologize for that. I don't have HD, so, you know. <laughs> but anyways, movie review. Rogue One. It made me think about what, what it was like to be a Star Wars fan again, because, I mean, I didn't mind the film, you know. It had some twists and turns. It was confusion a bit, but, you know. All, all in all, it was a good movie. It kind of reminded me of the... My, the, the original Star Wars, the one I think. I like Personally, I love the originals better. The original trilogy was the best ever. That's the ones I always loved, no doubt about it. But, you know, other than that, uh, like the recent one, Episode 7, and the prequels I wasn't crazy about, you know, I thought it was dragging a bit, but it wasn't much, Rogue One wasn't much dragging as I thought it would be. It was, it was kind of interesting in the long run, especially, especially in the end, but I'm not going to tell you what happened in the end. It, it, the end got me really clicking. It got me going how things rolled it, rolled in. But, you know, all in all, it was a great, I thought it was a good movie to kick off the holiday, well, the kick off the end of the holiday season and everything, but, you know, I thought it was pretty good, so, you know, it was more decent. It kind of remind me how much I loved the original trilogy, that much, that, that's how it kind of remind me of, so that that's how I think about it, all, all in all, but, you know, I give the rating maybe four and a half stars, you know, for a Star Wars film. Do I think it's the best Star Wars film? No. Do you think it's a little credit for trying for Disney? Yeah. So, that's how I feel about it. I mean, I have nothing against them. Great acting in that. I was really surprised about the acting. I don't know who they are, but, you know, that's how I feel. I mean, not, the, not for nothing, but, you know, hey, what am I going to judge about that? My advice for the Star Wars, don't watch the prequels. <laughs> Well, that's all I'd say about the Rogue One trilogy, and I'll see you off my another movie review. Till then, take care. And welcome back, everybody. Sorry for that, and I hope you all had enjoyed my little break. But anyways, my second movie review I'm going to do, like I said last week. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I saw this just before Christmas, and one of the last movie, uh, last weeks in the theaters before it was out, so I thought it's, why not? I'm a big Harry Potter guy, big Harry Potter guy than Star Wars, personally. But, and if you want to know what house I'm in, I'm in Ravenclaw, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, that's the other thing besides football, hockey, and other movies. I like Harry Potter. I mean, I like all that. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I read all the books and everything. I actually thought, it kind of reminded me of the Harry Potter days when I was in college, when I when I started a midnight showing for the last um, few um, movies, like like the sixth movie, then the the, se the part one for the seventh and part the yeah, two for the seventh book, so kind of developed for that. So I enjoyed it. For me, I'm a Potter guy, so you know, I mean, I'm gonna be enjoying it anyway. If it's Harry Potter, I'm all in with on that. But you know, so if you want to, if you want to take my word, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, don't listen to me because I love Harry Potter. But you know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really a lot of plot twists to that. It was a lot of pl plot twists to that movie. I kind of like. I'm like, oh my god, this is really happening? Is this really happening? Oh my god, that's how... 
became what? You're like, are you serious? So it, it kind of like got me more shocks than anything, to be honest with you. I actually was more up to up to my chair more than I was in there in their scene. But when I saw Fantastic Pizza, it, I was in a place that's called um, Chunky's where it's um that you get to have a dinner in a movie, like a TV dinner or something. I mean, I don't know if anyone's familiar with it, but... <sighs> Excuse me, but... And people are looking at me like I'm crazy, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit right now. <laughs> Excuse my French, kids. But anyways, you know, not for nothing, it definitely um really kicked in for how the, the Harry Potter world started. It's like a prequel. I, I'm spoiled a little bit. I'm not going to tell you what happened in the film. I, I can't tell you that. I mean, this is something you got to see for yourself. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I definitely recommend it. Meditative, but I know some people thought it was okay, decent. I enjo actually enjoyed it, so that was I enjoyed it more than that. But on a rating on that, I give it a five, five out of the five star rating. I gave it a five stars, so that's how I roll with that. But anyways, um, that'll wrap up my movie review. I will definitely get back to you for those my real fan, my not, well, the, for, well, not my real fans, but my fan fans. Well, well. anyways, my fans. I should say who like my football videos. I'm definitely going to do my week 17 picks coming later or maybe sometime tomorrow. So I definitely got my thoughts in. I haven't gotten time to get my picks in. I was still debating what was going on. So that's what's happening right now. So I'll definitely get back to you for my week 17 picks. Until then, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace.